Hi honeys, welcome to Books and Halls with Michelle. Yes, I decided to change the page name. You can still find me if you search for Michelle Espelin. It's still, I don't know, my page name, but my page name appears different, if that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, in today's video, I am here to compare Dollar Tree versus Ipsy products because those are the two places that I primarily buy my beauty and skincare items. Starting with the face, I've got these two face scrubs. This one is the Foaming Acne Scrub, and this is the Dollar Tree brand. Um, that, that's all it says. There's no bells and whistles to it. And then this is the one that Ipsy sent me recently. Now I will put up here what the MSRP price is for these um, so that you can kind of compare in your mind what you think might be worth the money. Now this one is Better Bean Clean Face Coffee Cleanser by Cali C. And I really, if I'm gonna be 100% honest with you here, which that's what I'm here for, I really think this one is more worth the money. I think it works better and it's got salicylic acid in it, which if you want to do a face scrub, salicylic acid is really good to have in there. What that does is it kills acne. The guy that does my facials told me that if I use a face scrub that has salicylic acid in it, it'll help break up blackheads. So I got this and I started using it. Now it says foaming. It's not like super foamy, but it's kind of foamy. If you lightly rub it in, it's kind of foamy. When I went to see him again, um, a year later, he was, he said that the amount of blackheads that I had were quite a bit less. So maybe it really does work to do that. Now, when this first came out, just in case you didn't know, or maybe you'd heard it and you wanted to make sure it wasn't still the case. When this first came out, I had little pieces of plastic in it, and a lot of people didn't want to use it anymore because of that, but that's not what's in here now. Now they have a uh, walnut shell in there. So it's just, just really lightly rub it in, though. I mean, if you rub too hard with walnut shell, it'll upset your skin, but I just think this stuff is wonderful. I've got two different eye creams. I've got the Dollar Tree version, which is... Cucumber Seed Oil with Caffeine Awakening Eye Cream, and it's by Bolero. And then the other one I have is Context Vitamin C All Day Eye Cream. Between these two, I would recommend this one. I have had a chance to try this. There's something about it that my eyes don't like. I kind of feel like I want to rip all my eyelashes out by the end of the day. I don't know what it is. I just, I'm having a reaction to it every time I try it. I wanted to make sure that this is what it was, so I tried it. Uh, multiple different times with or without makeup just to see if it was this and it is this unfortunately because I really thought this would be great the ingredients look good and it smells amazing but I just I can't even use it because it's just the reaction is too much for me but this stuff is definitely worth whatever it costs I can't even remember what the cost on it is but it's not too extreme I don't think or I'd probably remember but this goes on real nice it keeps my eyes feeling moisturized all day in fact I used it this morning you can put makeup on over it it's not real sticky or gucky or anything like that I really like it I've got the Dollar Tree face serum this is double strength retinol night repair serum by Skin Cream Dead Nutritions. And then I've got the 111 Cryo ATB Sports Booster. Now, as you see with the cost up here, the cost of this is quite a bit more. If I had to pick between one of them, this is really rough. I'd probably pick this one just because of the cost. This is a really good solid product. It's probably my favorite retinol product I've tried so far and I've tried quite a few. I just, I think it's really, really good. The thing with this one is I've actually noticed a difference in my skin. 
I've actually noticed a difference in my skin, which never happens for me. But I have noticed that this area here, the decotage, is nowhere near as wrinkly as it was. My neck is getting tighter. Um, I used to have these bumps right here on both sides of my face. They're gone. I mean, it's really making my skin nice. <sighs> But it's so expensive. It's hard. It'd, be, it'd really be hard to pay that price for it. Now I got it in an Ipsy box, so I didn't have to spend. <laughs> I got this in an Ipsy box, so I didn't have to pay that much for it. Now I'm going to be heartbroken when I run out of this one day because I just can't justify spending that much. So because of that, this wins. But if I want to go off of what really works the best. This one does win. I mean, I guess you're really getting what you pay for with this one. I have to mention with the, with this one, is when I talked to my facial guy, I told him about this stuff and he said, well, how much is it? And I told him and he said, well, that's not bad though. Because if you look at the cost of the treatments at a spa or a dermatologist to make your skin actually look younger, this is way cheaper. So. It's so hard to say that I wouldn't pick this though, because it's so good. I love it. If money was no option, that's what I would pick. <laughs> okay, I've got some moisturizers here. I have the Dermacil Day Cream. It's really light and nice. Um, I find it to be very similar to CeraVe. I do usually put on some kind of a additional moisturizer with it. Uh, usually it's a, like a spray moisturizer, but I do really like it. And this is not my first bottle of this. And then the Ipsy uh, day cream that I have is the Perlis Watermelon Energizing Aqua Balm. <sighs> if I had to pick one, if one was better than the other, I would definitely have to pick this one. It's just, it works so good, it smells good. It's very light, it's easy to put on, but my face doesn't feel dry all day long. I mean, it's, it's a really good solid product. Lotion. Okay, we've got Dermacil. <laughs> and you guys know this dry skin treatment is an addiction of mine. I really love it. The one that I've had a chance to try from Ipsy is this Ahava hydrate really hard to compare these two this one is really more of a lightweight lotion it's something that you could put on your hands when you're out and about and you're not going to get lotion all over everything it's i like to put it on my hands before i put my gloves on and do the dishes so it's it's a really good solid product i've even got my husband using it now this one is very thick it's more hardcore <laughs> you can't touch anything for a while after using it because you will leave lotion stains on things so this is definitely more intense neither one of them have a fragrance that i've noticed <sighs> if i had to pick one this is a difficult one for me because i love them both in very different ways but if i had to pick one i would pick this one So as you see, the Dollar Tree does sometimes beat out the higher end products that you would find at Ipsy or some of the department stores or, well, there's a bunch of other places that sell these products, but the higher end products. I've got a couple eyeshadows I wanted to tell you about here. I've got this eyeshadow. I cannot remember the brand, but it's it's one of those things where the packaging has the brand on it, but it doesn't say <laughs> after you take off the sticker, but this is from the Dollar Tree. I am so head over heels in love with this color, but it doesn't last very long, but I love the color, but it doesn't last very long. This one is from Ipsy and it's Mayel brand. I love the color and it does last a long time. So even though I love this color, if I had to pick one of them, I would definitely pick this and I haven't had the best of luck 
when it comes to eyeshadow from the Dollar Tree. I guess sometimes you really do get what you pay for. Now, this is an honorary mention because it's just so different from the other eyeshadows that I have received um, with Ipsy. So I just wanted to mention this one kind of on the side, but there's this flower eyeshadow and it's like a charcoal color. And this I use as eyeliner. I put it on with a brush and I love it. It lasts all day long. It's a beautiful color. I had to tell you about it, but I think that you could easily use it up on your um, eyelids as well. But I definitely recommend this. If you see it at the Dollar Tree, buy it. You ready to talk about lips? <laughs> lips are such an important thing to me. If my lips feel dry or they don't like something I've tried, I mean, I can get real miserable real fast if my lips aren't happy. So it's a very important subject to me. <laughs> okay, I've got lip oil here. I've got the Tarte lip oil that Ipsy sent me. I will put a picture here. The reason I'm putting a picture there is because I finally threw it away. I did not like it at all. So it wasn't even hard to decide if I wanted, if I would pick that one or not. The one I would pick is this lip oil that they have at the Dollar Tree right now. It's by Color Mates and it's in the Valentine's Day section. I am telling you, this stuff is so wonderful. It's not sticky. It smells good, but it doesn't smell too strong. Um, it has just the slightest bit of a flavor, but not so much that I want to like try to drink it in a shot glass or anything. <laughs> like it's just a really good quality product. And I don't usually go through lip oils as fast. And look, I'm already more than halfway through this. I had to buy more because I love it. And it stays on for a good hour or two, which is crazy because usually if I put chapstick or any kind of whatever on, I'm having to constantly reapply. Not this. This is the stuff. In fact, my lips are feeling a little dry. Let me just put some on now. <laughs> I love it so much. If you are a Vaseline or lip balm kind of fan, I've got the Vaseline Rosy Lips Therapy which is a good solid product. And this is from the Dollar Tree. And then I've got the Hanalei uh, Lip Treatment in Clear. And this is from Ipsy. And if I had to pick between the two, I would definitely pick this one. And I know it's a lot more expensive than this, but what you get for your money is so much more worth it. It lasts forever. And you put I, I've put this stuff on, whether I'm going out or I'm staying home, um, I like to put it on if I'm going to leave and even having a face mask on and everything, it just stays on so nicely and it makes my lips feel nice and moist. I don't feel like I'm having to worry about constantly putting something on, which is nice when I'm wearing a face mask. This stuff I have to reapply every 10 minutes, it feels like. So as much as I like it, is it worth it if I have to go through that much of it? Maybe not, but this stuff try it, you will like it. <laughs> now I mentioned that lips are very important to me and I don't mess around when it comes to lip gloss, lip color, any of that stuff. So I wanted to show you a few of those as well. I've got a tinted lip balm from the Dollar Tree. It is the flower brand, which one of my favorite actresses, Drew Barrymore, is the owner or founder, her and her friend of flower. So here's that, um, tinted lip balm. And then I've got this male one that is from Ipsy. I really, I'm sorry, Drew. This is a fail for me. It looks weird on my skin. It leaves a weird, like the color is weird. It looks odd. It doesn't look like a lip product. It looks like I put creamy blush on my lips or something. And it makes my lips feel kind of like they're, um, on fire and then they feel swollen and I know a lot of people want big lips but not me mine are full enough as they are in my opinion I'm not looking to make them bigger <laughs> so I I'm not a fan of this at all uh, this one however I love it is a beautiful color 
It is my favorite out of all the different lip products I have. If I want a nude color, this is the one that I love. And it's very slightly moisturizing to where I don't have to put something over it if I don't want to, which usually with tinted lip balms, I got to put something over it repetitively to feel comfortable. But this, I don't. So I would definitely pick this out of the two. Lip gloss. I've got the Wet n Wild Mega Last. And then I've got, and this is from the Dollar Tree. And then I've got Jules Smith Beauty. And if I had to pick one, I would definitely pick this one. It is deluxe. <laughs> it's so nice. It goes on nice. It stays on nicely. It's not sticky. It doesn't taste or smell funny. It's just a wonderful product. This one, I really love the color, but it's very sticky. And I always have to, it's so sticky that I usually have to put some kind of a lip gloss over it just to get the stickiness to go away. Like I, it drives me nuts. So I, I would, even though I love the color, I wouldn't repurchase this one, even, th even though it is a dollar. This one though, I really love. And that brand again is Jules Smith. I think this is about $18, but it does last a long time. I've had this for a while. <sighs> Lipstick. <laughs> I've got this e.l.f. lipstick that I got at the Dollar Tree. And then I've got... Ooh, how do I say the name of this? Bellin Argent lipstick from Ipsy. And honestly, these are both really solid products. However, if I had to pick between the two, I would definitely go with this one. This is... The kind of lipstick that I can put on and it stays on for about six hours. The color does. Yeah, I have to put on lip gloss or lip balm or something to kind of give me some moisture. But I like that I don't have to keep reapplying. And the colors that they have are so beautiful. They have this beautiful red called Smoking on Screen that I have. And I just love it. And then they have, I have this one. These are the only two that I have. But. And this color is just so beautiful and natural. And I love that it stays on. And the packaging is to die for. But I do want to mention, as far as e.l.f. goes, so this is the color that I have. It's a good, solid lipstick. For me, it's kind of like a Revlon lipstick. It's a little bit more on the moisturizing side. The color is really pretty. I... Uh, it stays on a pretty good amount of time. I want to say two or three hours. But I just love this one so much. I've got two liquid eyeliners here. This one is from the Dollar Tree. Actually, let me switch them this way. This one's from the Dollar Tree. It is Maybelline Master Precise Ink in Metallic. And then I've got this one. It is Scone Tattooed. Insanely Intense. If I had to pick between one of these, I would definitely pick this one. It is my favorite of all time liquid eyeliner. I'm glad that they like to send these to me in Ipsy because it's my go-to liquid eyeliner. This is, it, it's okay, but this is everything. Okay, I've got two cream eyeshadows. I've got one from Flower that's a blue color. And then I've got one from Julep that is kind of a gold taupey color. I'll put these on my skin just so you can see them here. I actually kind of like these together. Now, if I had to pick between the two, for me, there would be no thought process in it. I would definitely pick this one, the Julep one. It goes on nice and it stays on and I love the consistency of it. This one, I don't like that I can see my skin through it. Like I'd want it to be a little bit more pigmented if I were to, to wear it, but also it comes off so easily. 
whereas this one doesn't. And to me, that's a huge part of eyeshadow. I want it to stay on. I don't want to have to keep reapplying it all day long. So for me, even though this is a dollar and this is that much, <laughs> this is worth that much. This isn't worth the dollar. Sorry, Drew, that's two products of yours that don't ache. I wanted to mention the brushes. This is a difficult one for me because I've got the Wet n Wild brush. Sorry, it's so stained up, but this is, I, I had it for quite a while, and it's a contour brush that I have used for a long time. And then I've got this one. This is the LaRouche Angle contour brush. How do you pick this? I don't know because a dollar is such a good price and I have loved this to the point where I've never gotten rid of it and sometimes I still use it but this is very high-end <laughs> it's so soft my skin never gets irritated by it uh, LaRouche they just make such beautiful nice brushes the quality is so good I've wash this more than once and as you see it doesn't look beat up this obviously does look beat up and stained even though you know i've washed i probably washed them both the same amount of times so with that in mind i probably would pick this one but if you don't want to spend that this kind of price tag up here this is a really good solid brush for a dollar so for me maybe i'll just say this one's a tie because i really love them both but in different ways And the last thing I wanted to talk about is nail polish. Uh, we've got the Sinful Colors from the Dollar Tree. And then Pretty Woman from Ipsy. The Sinful Colors has been my go-to nail polish for about a year now. Um, I just find that it doesn't chip as quickly or easily as other nail polishes do. Um, usually I've got about two days before it starts chipping and I have to start doing touch-ups, which for me two days is an eternity compared to other nail polishes. Usually it's not even a full 24 hours and I'm having to reapply constantly. And this one is actually what I'm wearing right now. I put this on literally a week ago and it just started chipping today. A week of no chipping so even though I love this product I have to say this one beats it out and I don't know how much this costs like I said I've got it up here but it's worth the money if it doesn't chip for a whole week that's definitely a um, nail polish of the century kind of product <laughs> so I definitely recommend this one over this one even though this one has been a love of mine for a while now how do you say no to one that doesn't ship for a week? <laughs> the moral of the story is the Dollar Tree and the higher end Ipsy products both have their time and place. I don't feel that I'm going to stop shopping at either place. I just love some of the products from the Dollar Tree that I have and I really love some, well, I probably love more of the products from Ipsy. Actually, what did it say up here? Here's Dollar Tree and here's Ipsy, the totals. But it feels to me like it's worth it when things are only a dollar to give them a shot, to try them. You never know when you're going to fall in love with something. And um, it's definitely so much more cost effective. Tomorrow, I will be doing a book wrap up of all the books that I read in the month of January. And I'll also be doing a um, book-related giveaway. And then on Monday, I am doing a vlog of when my husband and I went to Los Angeles for an evening. On Wednesday, I'm doing a Galentine's Day video, which is 
another giveaway, but this is things that I have put together. It's a bunch of items, so be sure to tune in on Wednesday if you're interested in that. It's a bunch of skincare and beauty items and some other fun things mixed in there. And then on Friday, I'm doing my first festive Friday video, which is the video that I've been talking about for a while. Uh, once a month, I will be making up my table and bringing out my entertaining items, my entertainment items, my items for entertaining. How do you say that? My items for entertaining, I guess. <laughs> and I will be making dinner. I will be doing it with you on camera so you can see what I'm cooking, how I cook it, what the recipe is. And then you get to see the table with everything on it. So that should be very fun. On Friday, I will be making cheeseburger pie with tater tots. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to yet, please go ahead and give me a like and subscribe. I love you. Bye.